new core reversal here in Exos Heroes. So this video is going to be breaking down his kit and whether or not he's worth pulling for. If you're looking for more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and then also join the Discord. We've got a very good community we're, we're building up, so be sure to join in on that. And with that out of the way, let's get into the video. Hey guys, this is Gonis Car here with another Exos Heroes video. And in today's video, I want to talk about the core reverse on Glenn here. And let's let's take a look at what they actually changed. He was a character that ever since even release, he's never really been that good. Just if anything, if anything for maybe core memory, but even the characters there didn't really age well. So he's pretty much useless in the game. Let's see if the update actually fixes that. Okay, so his first passive is Thirst. Grants damage reflect when own health falls below 30%, which, you know, not too excited about. And then... Lastly, on his A2 here, it resets the turn of the hero with the fastest attack speed when the attack hits, which, in a vacuum, is a very good effect. But the rest of his kit is complete trash, in my opinion, so it's just not worth it. All the characters that have a good reset have amazing kits, or amazing passives more specifically, with something like this on top of it to make them actually good. Can't justify just giving a reset, especially to the fastest attack speed. Also, this character doesn't synergize at all based on the mana costs and how his stats are when he, it comes to speed. He's a slow character. Usually teams only have like two people in the front. Slow, so he's not going to gain much mana. He won't have, like, absolutely shouldn't have five mana when his first turn goes, so you have to Use him. He doesn't do anything the first turn. Has to go last on the second uh, second turn to finally get that hero reset. It's just not worth it. So I think this is a nice boost for people that already have Glenn. He's absolutely not worth pulling for, in my opinion. Unless I'm just completely missing something like crazy. But I think he's complete garbage. I think definitely save your ass. Do not pull for this guy. And then, like, if anything, here let me try to justify uh, pulling for him. And this is just purely from a you know, usefulness, efficiency standpoint. If you just enjoy playing the game, you want to collect people, by all means. But I'm just trying to evaluate the character based on others, whether or not is it worth your zest. And I really don't think he is. Okay, so core memory. So this grouping of characters, if we look here at the, the grouping, like FC Valentina was pretty hyped up, hasn't really lived up to that hype. Not many people use her, if at all. I think she's like PvE only. But then Pretty much that whole group of characters, maybe Ramj is the one that's used the most out of this faction, but she's not really used much. FC Bernadette is used very sparingly, maybe in Dragon. That's about it. Like on Tuesdays on Dragon would be like if you had her, you'd use her maybe in Tag. I'd say may maybe she's a, a tag team character. Maybe she's a, you know, in a few PvE situations, you might like the, the flop or the flat flat passive. All these people are pretty mediocre. Then you have Glenn on here, who's one of the worst. And then you add this core, or this, uh, then you add the uh, buff onto him, and then he's just barely passable. I would still, I would say he's still the worst out of the three, even with this new buff. I was thinking maybe we could try to justify him here, you know, with unleashed potential. Maybe he has a good effect here. He just has the reduce his allies' damage by fifty percent, which is which is amazing because if you compare this one to the 30%, it's worded, the 30% one's weirded weirdly, because the 30% one, I believe, is just reducing the, it's 30% of AoE damage. A comment pointed that out to me, in the weird way of writing the English language, that does make sense. This is the good one, the 15% is the good one, because it reduces all allies' damage by 15%. So thrust characters have that, and block characters have that. And I want to say, also, um, protect characters do too. That's the one you really want to, so he does have that, you know, there's that, that going for him, but you know, imagine actually unleashed potential like this guy. There's just no, maybe there's maybe down in the future, this is this curtsy, we're just gonna have a ton of it. All these curtsies so far have been something that, you know, except for Zess, obviously, has been something that it, it felt like a major bottleneck in the beginning. And then you just have a whole bunch of it. Uh, for example, these holy waters, these used to be like the currency I would look for if I ever got one, I'd be stoked. Now, at this point, I have pretty much everyone that I want to at six star, I have everyone that I want to uh, awakened, and then I still have 28 of these guys. So it's just these kind of currencies. This is the new bottleneck, but maybe down the line we'll have a ton of them, and then we could justify something like, like let's say Glenn was an okay character. Maybe we could justify throwing all those on him because we, we, just, we have so many of them. Everyone else already has them. 
and he might have some use in a couple game modes. It's like, okay, let's boost him up a little bit. Thinking way down in the long term, I don't know, maybe something, just trying to play devil's advocate on at least something that he could be useful for. I can't think of anything. I think he's trash. That's pretty much all I got to say about FC Glenn. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think on FC Glenn and if you guys are going to pull for him or not. Because I feel like if I'm missing something like big here, he's absolutely not worth it. So with that, you guys have a good one. Peace.